It's morphin' time! Dragon Sword! Mastodon! Pterodactyl! Triceratops! Saber Two Tiger! Tyrannosaurus! The new Power Rangers movie is out this Friday, and a lot of you guys are excited, we assume. Look, you guys better be excited, because we dug up a bunch of Power Rangers things, so you're gonna sit there and like it, or I'm turning this car around. Here are seven things you didn't know about the Power Rangers. Probably. You five are the Power Rangers. Is this some kind of joke? We're talking to a wall. It's been well publicized that Brian Cranston is in the upcoming Power Rangers film, but you may be surprised to learn that this isn't the first time he's taken his talents down to the Power Rangers universe. Cranston did voices on the OG Mighty Morphin Power Rangers TV series back in the 90s. Check him out. Goodbye, Power Rangers! Now what would really be cool is if the Power Rangers had to face off with Heisenberg in the new movie. Who else wants to see the Rangers against the one who knows? Hey guys, guys! What? Check out how we glow. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I'm black. What? I am. No, you're not. <laughs> this Friday's Power Rangers is still targeted at younger audiences, but it does have a PG-13 rating, and it's the first Power Rangers movie to ever get one. During the 90s, Fox and Saban received non-stop complaints from parents about the violence in the TV series and movies, so they really had to water things down. They had to steer clear of showing blood, and by season two of the TV show, the Rangers were barely able to use their weapons, kind of like what happened with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, The Secret of the Ute. Canada edited the show even more than the US, and New Zealand straight up banned it altogether. So even with a PG-13 rating, don't expect this new Power Rangers to go all Logan on you. In our last thing, we mentioned a minor connection between the Power Rangers and Ninja Turtles. Okay, it was really just a similarity. Well, lay off me, here's something a bit more solid. Dean Israelite, who directed Power Rangers 2017, is the cousin of Jonathan Liebsman, who directed Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles a couple years back. So, if you're keeping your fingers crossed for another serious crossover like they did in the Shell-Shocked episode of Power Rangers in Space, this may give you a bit more hope. It's time for some Shell-Shock! What are those things? I can't believe it, but I think they're... It's the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles! Yay! Most people realize that Mighty Morphin Power Rangers was adapted from a Japanese series. It was called Super Sentai. The American show repurposed all of the combat footage from the Japanese series and then shot new material with the Rangers for only when they weren't in their costumes and or when they weren't wearing their helmets. The writers had the daunting task of essentially reverse engineering a plot around fight sequences in which they had no real idea what was happening, which is kind of how I feel doing this episode of Things You Didn't Know. Ninja! In the original series, the Yellow Ranger was actually a dude. That's why the Pink Ranger wears a skirt, but the Yellow Ranger doesn't. Because we can all agree that girls need skirts in order to fight. And quite frankly, if you look at that Yellow Ranger, it's honestly pretty f***ing obvious that that's a dude. Come on. Look, his dick is right there. You can't see that dick right there? Moving on. Hey, guys. Tommy! <laughs> you don't have to do it alone this time. We're here to fight by your side. Tommy, played by Jason David Frank, quickly became the most popular ranger after debuting on the show. Saban would get letters every day from fans asking to bring Tommy back. What those fans didn't know was, Tommy was originally supposed to die. The Green Ranger died in the Sentai series, and Tommy was going to have the same fate. But he achieved a huge level of popularity almost immediately. Kind of like Pokemon Go. But unlike Pokemon Go, Tommy's popularity actually lasted. Never would have seen that coming. So what was supposed to be a limited run on the TV series led to Tommy holding the record for the longest stint as the leader of the Rangers, the most episode appearances overall, and the record for the most color changes. He's worn green, white, red, and black, which is a lot, I guess. Next thing. Um, can you Who's your ranger? The green, 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 green. Who's your favorite ranger? Filming all those Power Rangers episodes couldn't have been a walk in the park for Jason David Frank or the rest of the cast and crew, because filming for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers usually lasted seven days a week. The show would film with the actors during the normal work week, but then they'd have to come in on the weekends to record the dialogue for the battle scenes. There's plenty more where that came from, you overgrown seafood platter! And the production cycles would run for 16 weeks at a clip. That's a long time to go without a day off. Somebody do that math for me and let me know down in the comments, because I'm going on to the last thing. 
Nightmarish production schedules were just one way the studio tried to stretch every dollar. Even with the fight sequences already in the can thanks to the Japanese show, they knew they'd still need to film some things with the American cast. So, rather than hire an actor and a stunt performer, they cast Walter Jones and Austin St. John because they both had backgrounds in martial arts. And they hired Amy Jo Johnson and David Yost because they were both gymnasts. Not only were the actors getting shafted on their pay, but they were getting a raw deal while also putting themselves at risk doing often dangerous stunts. Hmm? No, I hurt my leg. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. The studio was paying them such low rates that it eventually led to a lot of actors leaving the show, including Ty Trang, RIP, who left after about a season and a half. That's it, and I'm gonna level with you guys. I have roughly zero comprehension of anything I just said. Power Rangers lore goes completely over my head, but hopefully you got something and some things out of it. Thanks for watching and subscribe to Cinefix for more truish things about movies and sometimes the Ninja Turtles in an episode that's supposed to be about the Power Rangers right here on Things You Didn't Know. Look out, Rita, we're not backing down.